Postmaster General Louis DeJoy is still around. He's still the Postmaster General, a holdover from the Trump administration, and he's still racking up allegations of corruption. This time it has to do with possible insider trading. Now, the post office announced on February 23rd that it awarded a contract, a 10 year contract um, to the tune of millions of dollars, no billions of dollars uh, to a postal delivery vehicle fleet that would be provided by Oshkosh Defense. <laughs> and I don't think this is related to Oshkosh Bagosh, right? <laughs> but it has they've a strange become a name. Weapons, they've become a weapons manufacturer. <laughs> they Can make underwear imagine? and weapons manufacturer and weapons. <laughs> Honestly, stranger things have happened. Um, but no, in this case, uh, it's a company uh, that would provide a fleet of new vehicles for the post office. And Louis DeJoy has granted them this 10 year multi-billion dollar contract to do so. Now here's where things start to get sketchy. This contract was awarded to Oshkosh Corporation and is worth up to $6 billion. I write to pass along reports, this is Tim Ryan, by the way, saying this. Uh, I write to pass along reports of what might be unusual trading of Oshkosh stock that took place less than 24 hours before Postmaster General Louis DeJoy publicly announced the contract decision in front of a House panel on February 23rd. So, um, you know, he's concerned because he's noticed a lot of trading activity happening um, in the day leading up to this announcement. And let's give you some exact numbers from Representative Ryan. He says specifically, an over $54 million purchase of Oshkosh stock made 20 hours before DeJoy's announcement was brought to my attention on social media and in news reports. Additionally, it is my understanding that the OSK stock rose significantly prior to the announcement. Given the gravity and serious implications of this contract, I'm writing to request that the Securities and Exchange Commission look into this issue as soon as possible. It should also be noted that previously the post office was looking into purchasing a new fleet of vehicles that were electric vehicles. In this case, the Oshkosh Defense Company will not be doing that. A much smaller percentage of the fleet will be electric, I think under 10% of their fleet. So that should also be noted. Why was the contract given to these guys when a different company was being considered before? And what's up with all of this trading activity in the day leading up to this announcement. So Nando, what do you make of this? I mean, just brazen corruption. I mean, it, you've, you've said it a million times, like it's crazy that these people are allowed to trade stocks, individual stocks when they're in positions to influence um, the stock price through government policy. But <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, what else is there to say? It just seems pretty, pretty open and shut, brazen corruption. I mean, the kind that we've kind of have to become used to in recent years that have become kind of run of the mill. I mean, you know, we see all these people get incredibly rich while they're in government and it's you know that they, that's not how it's supposed to work. You know, <laughs> you're not supposed to it's, like it's make, insane. Yeah, it's totally insane. I mean, um that's just always going to be the case is when you're in when you're in positions of power and you can influence um major major uh, money moves through you know government contracts the temptation to dip in the cookie jar is is enormous so uh, yeah this i mean and louis de joy like this is like maybe like the 10th worst thing he's ever done as the head of the postmaster general <laughs> as the postmaster general right like i mean the us post office is one of the most beloved institutions and one of the best things that the american government has ever done ever is the US Postal Service. I mean, totally like a revolutionary thing that is publicly run, publicly controlled, maintains decent privacy. And this man is almost single handedly trying to destroy it and put it into private hands so that shareholders can make profit. So, yeah. Get him out, please. Why is he still there? Why is he even there? Exactly. That's what I was Get him out, Biden. What are you doing? He's still there. 
It makes no right. sense. And yeah, I mean, honestly, he should have been one of the first people to be booted um, in this new administration. It's really disheartening to see him still there. Uh, but why wouldn't Louis DeJoy engage in insider trading? And to be like, we don't know for sure if that's what happened. Uh, all we know is that, you know, there was. Over $54 million worth of stock purchases for this company in the day leading up to this announcement. And so it appears as though Louis DeJoy and his buddies decided to purchase the stock knowing that after this announcement, the value for the shares would increase. But why wouldn't he do this if we had reason to believe that there were United States senators who engaged in insider trading after being briefed in a meeting about the severity of coronavirus before anyone else knew what was going on. Mm -hmm. Several senators ended up selling stock and then buying tech stocks that would, of course, jump up in value as soon as the COVID related shutdowns were implemented. You know, Kelly Leffler is still chilling. Like she did it, didn't have to face any consequences. But don't worry, they had the Senate Ethics Committee look into it, meaning other senators who are part of the problem investigated it. So don't worry, no wrongdoing, everybody. Look the other way. I mean, you'd be dumb not to engage in insider trading if you're if you're in a position of power. Like of that's that's what the entire climate is like now. So. We're letting you guys know so you know what, what kind of disgusting corruption takes place on a regular basis, but this should not be the norm. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more, there's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air, so all that all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.